Hi students, welcome to another session of video tutorial with Miss Ng. Today I'm going to teach you how to form equa quadratic equations when you're given the roots. Um, this is part of the SOR and POR uh, portion in chapter 2, some of the roots and product of the roots um, where you learn your alpha plus beta and alpha beta. Okay, so some of the example of questions would be this, um, a simple one here. Quadratic equation, um, form a quadratic equation from the roots negative 2 and 5. So actually there are two methods to solve this question. Yeah, I'm going to teach you the easy one first. Now recall that when the roots is negative 2 and 5, means x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 5. Alright, so now what you need to do is just to reverse this. x is equal to negative 2, so you shift the negative 2 over, it becomes x plus 2 and this becomes x minus 5 equals to 0. Alright, and then what you do is you expand this, so that will be x squared uh, minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 equals to 0, and you get x squared minus, uh, that's not a 5, that would be a minus 3, x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals to 0. There you go, you have your equation. So basically what it does is that you are reversing the process. Normally they will give you a quadratic equation like this and you need to factorize it to get the answer, right? But now they have given you the answers so you are reversing the process by creating the bracket and expanding the bracket. Can you understand this? It's pretty simple, yeah? This is the easy way. Now, um, there is also another method to do this. That would be um, using the SOR and POR method. Yeah. Now, if you recall, the principle of SOR and POR is that the equation or the quadratic equation will be given in this form. Yeah? x squared minus sum of the root x plus product of the root is equal to zero all right so this is actually a, another pattern of quadratic, quadratic equation see you have learned that quadratic equation comes in a general form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero and now um, from the same quadratic equation you can actually change it into this form yeah the sor por form so um, how, how do you do this then yeah you can actually um, from the roots find your sor Okay, that will be negative 2 plus 5. So, there will be 3, right? So, then from the roots, find your POR. That will be negative 2 times 5. Okay, and that will be a negative 10. So, then once you have found this, what you need to do is just to put this into this form, this equation here. So, uh, your quadratic equation will be x squared minus sum of the root is 3 as what you found here yeah 3x so what you do is you just substitute it and a product of the root is negative 10 so plus a product of the root is negative 10 yeah so then you get x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals to 0 so there you have it you get the same answer as um, the first method all right now um, it is entirely up to you how you want to solve this uh, problem whether you want to use the first method uh, or you want to use the SOR, POR method. Now, most students actually will prefer to use this method, the first one, this method here. All right. Uh, some will prefer to use the second one. It really doesn't matter. Okay. So now, um, I'd like you to try out this question here, the second question here. Form a quadratic equation from the roots negative 1 over 4 and 3 over 5. So the method to do is exactly the same. The only difference is that the roots are given to you in fraction all right so try it and um well of course you can always view the next video where i will just uh, show you how to do but why don't you try it first all right and then you can look at the video to check whether you've done it correctly or not yeah okay all right good luck